Hey, what's up guys? You got Jesse Rush here and uh, I want to talk to you guys about installing fur silencers on your bow. Let me, uh, yeah, you can see them. Okay, now this is a homemade vine maple bow that I made here. It's uh, 55 pounds at 26 inches. These are some homemade arrows that I made. And I got to thinking about it the other day when I was shooting outside, my string's going bang. So I tried some um, yarn puffball silencers. Garbage. They flew right apart and flew off my bow. Um, so I looked up online and uh, I noticed that there are some ways that you can uh, put silencers on your strings. And I just happened to have a rabbit fur, a Florida cottontail rabbit fur that I killed with a knife. Actually, I threw it and I uh, hit the rabbit. So uh, what I did is I took my fur here. Excuse the mess on the table. I took my fur here. And uh, this is just... Um, Rawhide dried out, dried out. You know, it's not. Um, I skinned the rabbit, and then I just dried it out, and I moved it every now and then, and kind of the pa It's like paper. The skin is. It's not like real nice and soft. It listen. So it's like it's like a car. You know, brown paper. So anyway, what I did is I cut a couple strips with scissors off of the edge of this fur silencer or off this rabbit fur it was about out to here and I already installed one um, and there's just a couple of little tricks to know and uh, it's pretty simple um, from what I've seen uh, it's real simple you just measure from your knock down like that with your pinky or your thumb and then uh, you split the string and then whichever way your bowstring is uh, turning mine's turning this way so, whichever way your bowstring's turning, uh, that you tuck it in, and that's the way you wrap your um, strip around. You see, here's a strip I cut. Okay, when you cut it, you get a bunch of uh, hair that comes off from where you snipped it. Because um, the hair's not standing straight up, it's leaning one direction, so it all falls down. But that's plenty good enough. Um, and uh, it doesn't seem to want to come out. You know, poofs up nice. But uh, let's go ahead and have a look down here. So this end is the end I'm going to put it on now. So let's measure it up. Use our hand here. Now I'm trying to do this and um, hold the phone at the same time. So it's becoming very hard. I may not be able to do it, but we'll see. So you want to split the string. Right there. Try to get it even. Hopefully you guys saw that. Split the string. Ah! I'm holding this on my chin, guys, so bear with me. <laughs> okay. Okay, just hang on a second, guys. So once you split the string, you put one end through, it takes two hands and I don't have a camera holder. So you put one end through the string like that. And this string is wrapped this way so I actually put this end upside down. So let me see if I can flip it with one finger. There you go. So you put one end in through about like that, you know, leave about a half inch sticking through, whatever. Then um, what you really need to do the string goes this way. That's the way it's twisted. So that's the way you want to twist it. 